everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all having an amazing day. It is an amazing day here. So um, I just thought I'd come on and talk about some empties that I've never done. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've never done an empties video before, but I just have been throwing a bunch of stuff into a bag. And uh, I figured I'd talk about them and let you know whether I'm going to repurchase them, what I thought about them, and the whole bit like that. So let's just get into this video. I don't even know what's in here. It's going to be a surprise to me and you, but we shall see. So the first thing I have an empty of, and I got to tell you, empties are so satisfying to me when you finally finish something up and then I can recycle it because I'm a huge recycler, but it very satisfying going through and finishing a product so you know you got your money's worth. So I have the L'Oreal Total Repair Extreme. This one is the restructuring shampoo. I thought, yes, Baxter. <laughs> I thought it was um, okay. I've recently switched over to some higher end hair care products because my hair has been thinning and it's um, getting damaged and I'm trying to up the game and research more products and more ingredients and what they're actually doing and whether or not they're working. I thought this was an okay shampoo. It lathers um, a lot. I happen to like this. Um, it does have a lot of foaming. Some people think that's bad for your hair, the, the chemicals that make it foam. There's something satisfying again about a lathering shampoo. It just makes it feel like you're getting your hair clean. I did like it. I don't think I'm going to be purchasing it uh, only because I said I do want to switch over to some other type of hair care products. And besides, I have so many hair care samples like shampoos and conditioners that I get in my boxes in my shower currently. I'm sorry, my cat is like walking back and forth behind me. It's, it's hysterical. Um, anyway, that I won't need to buy um, shampoos for a while. Conditioners I go through a lot more. But for now, I like it, um, but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. God, things seem here are wet. Okay, this next thing that I have, I also got, I believe, in my Walmart box or my Target box. It is a the Fanned Coconut Sheet Mask. I used this the other day. And when I go through some more of my sheet masks, I will actually be repurchasing this. I thought it was hydrating. It's very, the sheet, these sheet types of sheet masks are kind of messy because they're very, very liquidy and they sometimes don't stay on the face like they will like flip back, unlike the gel masks which sit, I almost said something bad, which sit snugly on your face. But I did like this mask. I thought that my skin felt hydrated and actually it looked, my skin looked a little brighter when I took it off. So this is something, it's a reasonable price tag and uh, I will be repurchasing this when I run out of them. The next thing in here is which I just recently finished up because I am trying to self tan but currently my arms are much darker than like my decollete and my neck trying to get used to like doing the whole thing but for some reason my arms always get darker my legs not so much anyway <laughs> back to this it is the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse it is tinted so you do see where you are putting it I do use a, a mitt which I actually have to get another because I always wind up with uh, the self tanner in between my fingers I do like this I'm testing out a few other self tanners so I don't know if I'm gonna rush out to be um, trying it there are couple of more that I've heard about online that I would like to try but I did get a decent tan from it I said this is it currently and it wasn't it's not too too orange or anything like that and it does work but we'll see whether I'll, I'll be getting it again I do have another mask again which I just tried you know I mask almost every night this is the Ulta Beauty age defying matcha green tea mask I actually got two uses out of this for my face because you need a decent amount but this whole package lasted me for two uses and I would suggest using it two days in a row so the product does not dry out. I thought this mask was wonderful. This one is an antioxidant rich matcha hydrating hyaluronic acid mask. My skin definitely felt very moisturized after um, I took it off. It's messy. It's one of those masks that you don't, you know, that you have to wipe off and it can get messy. But I thought my skin looked brighter, it felt great, it felt smooth, uh, it didn't leave me dry, and I'll be purchasing that again. Also very reasonably priced. 
this next one I have here is from Ula Henriksen and it is the African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. It's hard for me to say whether cleansers work or they don't work because they're not on your skin long enough to actually have any of the long-term benefits I think that moisturizers and serums can do. But it is a foaming cleanser. I would take my makeup off first with a gel cleanser like the Clinique Take the Day Off or whatever. I'm also currently trying about out a couple of others like that as well. And then I would wash my face with this. My face did feel a little tight afterwards and I can't say that I saw any effects on my skin from this, but my skin did feel a little tight afterwards. I don't know whether it was because of the foaming action in here that it may be stripped a little bit. It didn't do anything bad, I didn't have any reactions to it. I don't know if I'll be buying it again because I have a lot of cleansers currently and um, it's not like it was a miraculous product, but I enjoyed using it nonetheless. Okay, this next one, the major controversy. I am. This is the Glam Glow Rita Repulsa Mask. I think this is, this is the Gravity Mud Mask. Now, I bought these. This one and another one were on sale, and I had gotten some other Glam Glow masks. I did that a video um, a while back. And there's a couple of things I like about these and a lot of things I don't like. It's fun to put on. The smell is amazing, amazing. It just makes you want to use it. It is a peel-off mask. It makes for a great Instagram photo. My skin does feel tight in a good way after I take it off, and it does feel soft, but I just don't think that for the cost of these masks, I don't think that there's enough skincare benefits in them, and there's also some other ingredients in here that are not so desirable that I don't want in my skincare. So this was fun to use. I have about four others of these of different types of Glam Glow masks that I will be repurchasing. I think they are extremely overpriced when there are tons of masks that to me do the same thing that you do get the skincare benefits from that I don't believe I know I will not be repurchasing as much as they're fun to use and things like that. It's not something I'm going to repurchase. I was so happy when I finished this up. This is my favorite liner. I have a couple of favorite liners, but literally this one I would use every single day. It is the Tarte Sex Kitten Mascara. I got this one in, I think, a holiday box. And I finally used it up, and I was so thrilled when I finally did. It is very cool to like finish them up because I have a drawer full of eyeliners. They don't go bad as quickly as your liquid eyeliners do, but it's very satisfying to finish them up. This one was okay. It had this smudger on the end. I never used it. It's like a rubber smudger and it, that never worked for me, but I did really like it. And when I run out, this one I will purchase again because it does stay in my waterline extremely well, whereas a lot of the other ones I have do not stay in my waterline. So there's that. I was very happy when I finished up my Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. There was that whole controversy regarding this being a repackaged powder, and we are going to do this together and find out if mine says the same thing as the others did. Yep, okay, it, this is, um, I've had this for a while, but you can see under here it says the Naked Skin Powder. The, like the jury is out on whether that is the case or not. Regardless of what it was, it's not like there was a price difference between the two powders. Whatever they chose to do, I really enjoyed the powder. It's very rare that I finish up a powder. I enjoyed this. I did not use it as the mixing medium as it was meant to do, but it is a very finely milled powder that set my makeup beautifully. I used it up and when I go through, I may repurchase it, but there's so many other powders that I do want to try that are out there that I'm going to purchase those first and try them and review them, and then in the end, I may go back to buying this. We shall see. Next up, we have another Tarte product. This is from the Rainforest of the Sea. I'm petting my cat right now. <laughs> this is the 
Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. I have about four of these because I bought them in kits that they had on sale just a few months ago. When you buy them in a kit, they come with a lot of other products and I think they're great value. I really did like this. It's I wouldn't exactly call it a gel. It's more to me of an, an, an oil. It's in between an oil and a, and a gel, I think. I liked it because it did, I used this as my first part of my cleanse, it did take off my makeup, it took off my eye makeup moderately well. I did of course have to, I always have to go in and use some eye makeup remover after the fact. But I really um, liked this and again I have like two more of them left that I will probably go through. I may repurchase it but again I'm always finding new things. As I buy new things that I come out to review them, I tend to like other things more. I'm not saying I won't repurchase it, but I, I really did enjoy using it. This was my first foray into this type of double cleansing. Next up we have another hair care product. This is the Schwarzkopf Gliss Hair Repair, Ultimate Repair Anti-Damaging Mask. I used this up. It was, it was okay. What I usually do in the showers after I shampoo my hair, I will either put out once a week or so, I will put a mask on my hair, pin it up do the rest of my shower, shave, etc., wash, and then I wash the hair mask out. I think it did okay. My hair felt soft, you know, afterwards, but it feels soft afterwards with regular conditioner sometimes that I use too. I don't think it did anything miraculous overall for my hair. I did enjoy using it. I'm not sure whether I'll be repurchasing it again. And it was not that cheap. Schwarzkopf was not that cheap, actually. Another thing I have here is I clean my brushes very very often and originally I had bought this a, quite a while ago it was from Walgreens it's called the Studio Beauty Brush and Sponge Cleaner you do need to use this with water it is not one that instantly dries your brush like some of the others I have and you can use them right away this one is meant to clean now it did and barely okay job on cleaning my brushes. I would wet my brush, spray this on, um, clean it on the mat, but I found myself having to do it a bunch of times. I find it inconvenient when you're washing your brushes a deep, thorough cleaning, having to spray, wash, spray, wash. I prefer just swirling it into the brick, you know, cleaner soaps that I do have. On a sponge, it did absolutely nothing. On my beauty blenders, it was, it didn't clean a darn thing. Um, so I definitely don't recommend it for that. I wouldn't be purchasing this again. There's too many other great brush and sponge cleaners out there that no, I, I won't be purchasing that again. Even though it was um, rather inexpensive. Nope, not for me. Here is a another brush cleaner. Just happened to be um, what I pulled out, and this was a gel type cleaner. It's called the Brush um, Guard. And this one came with a little, before they came out with the mats, they had, had a little cup with little scrubbing nubbies on the bottom that you put this in there with some water and you scrubbed your brush around. And then it also came with these sleeves so you can dry your brushes standing up in the cup. You can use the cup as, you know, just, I'm probably going to, since I don't use that anymore, I'm probably just going to use it for a brush holder. Um, I think it did an okay job. I liked it. But again, I had to use quite a bit of this cleaner because you would put it on, you would scrub, and then it, it, you use a lot. I think it did an okay job. Again, there's so many cleaners. I'm really enjoying the brick cleaners because it's so convenient. I keep saying brick, but you know what I mean, like the little bar of soap that's in the plastic container. The Sephora one is the one that I use, but Beauty Blender has one too. But that was good. I just probably won't be purchasing it again. Next up, this has a hair on it. This is the Clinique Even Better Eyes Eye Cream. I just recently finished this up. Now, if you notice, I cut, always cut the tops off of one off of the any item like this that comes in this type of tube. Once I can no longer squeeze it out of the tip, then I cut the top off. Use one of my little spatulas to dig out the rest of the product because I want my money's worth. <laughs> um, this is a tinted eye cream, as you can see. It has a little bit left in here. I don't know if you can see on there. Just got a little bit in it. I did kind of enjoy this. I like the metal tip applicator because it is cooling when you use it. But honestly, I felt like my eyes didn't feel moisturized after I used this. They almost felt dry and I found myself having to go in with another eye cream. 
which you shouldn't have to do. I liked the tinted color of it because it almost started to color correct. But, you know, there was a lot of hype when I was in the store. The girl was really recommending this. I told her my problem of really dry eyes. I'm trying to combat wrinkles and such. And yeah, no, this, this one wasn't my favorite. I won't be getting that. Just have a couple of products left. This is from Soap and Glory. It is the Under Eye Brightening Hydro Gel Patches. I like these patches. They are the jelly ones. They're a little thick, so sometimes they're a little uncomfortable under the eyes, which is a little irritating because they hit my lower lashes, even if I tuck it underneath there, and it's just a little uncomfortable. But, and they're a little pricey, but I always get them on sale. They do have sales quite often. But I have to say, when I use these in the morning, if my eyes are puffy, they are not puffy when I get done using these. So I will continue to buy these when they are, are on sale, and I will keep using them. I have one more product left, and this is one that I had been using for years, and then I started experimenting with um, other eye creams. And I probably will be going back to this after I go through all of my other eye creams that I do have. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum for Under Eyes. This is a moderately, this is a higher priced drugstore item. It is in the $20 plus dollar range. But I have to say this and the Rapid Repair Serum for your face, there's something about it that they're not that expensive, but I find that they really do work. I will use this and then I put a very moisturizing cream. Even though this does moisturize, I still layer several um, eye creams. But you know, when I'm done with the other ones, I'll probably just be going back old school and going back to things that I know that I know work. You know, if you find something that's tried and true and works, why not continue to purchase it? I said for, it's difficult for me here because I do want to review new products and let you guys know about products, but if you're looking for a good drugstore um, under eye cream to combat wrinkles and fine lines, I would definitely go check out this Neutrogena line. And you can always find coupons, and they sometimes do have sales, like buy one, get one 50% off. So I would check it out as something that I, you know, I highly recommend. So that is it. My bag is empty except for a hair tie, which I don't know how that got in there. I'll bet you one of my cats was, was at them. That is my empty bag. I just bought myself like a little plastic container so I don't have to store this bag that five holes all over the place. But that is it for my empties. I hope maybe I gave you some ideas about some products you might want to try. Let me know what your empties were this month because I'm always looking to try other things as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it so much if you could give me a thumbs up. If you're new here and you love this video, maybe you could subscribe and maybe hit the notification bell and join our family. I'm trying to come up with a name for our YouTube family. I have an idea, but you can let me know below if you want to contribute to that. So, hope you guys have an amazing day. Hope you have an amazing week. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.